An initializer is a method called init that defines how new instances of a struct are created. The init function has a parameter for every property so that all of the values of the struct get set when an instance is created. In line 6, make sure the last name property gets set up correctly. So here we have a struct for something, a type called a person. And this person has a first name property, a last name property. And then here's an initializer. The init passes in a first name that is of type string and a last name that is of type string. And the initializer, initializer then says self.firstname is first name and you write self.lastname equals last name. So what this basically means is that when you call the init function, which we do down here, that is of type person, you have to pass in the first parameter, the first name, here it's John, and the last name, and then inside the init function, these parameters get set to the properties. So let's do this. We can now see that to make the code easier to read, the parameter names inside the init function are usually the same as the properties of the struct. That's why we have the parameters here called first name and last name. They match the names of the properties to make the code easy to understand so you immediately know what's going on.